This video will help you for assignment number 17, which is the teacher biography questions for the iPad. First thing you wanna do is click on assignments and find assignment number 17. It explains the assignment. Find your teacher's email address below. So you would scroll down and here are all the teacher and staff's email addresses. Then it says go to portal.dosd.net Go to Outlook, click on New Message, and send your teacher or staff member an email with the biography questions. The big important thing is you need to copy me on the email. So you're going to click where it says here, and this is going to open a copy of the biography questions. So you can click on Make a Copy. You are not going to turn this Google Doc into me you can just use this to copy and paste the questions into an email. So I'm gonna leave this open, but I'm gonna go ahead and come out of this and I'm gonna look for the app that says DUSD portal and I'm gonna click on that. Once my portal is open, I'm gonna find Outlook. The apps are sorted alphabetically so if I come to the O section, I can see the blue square with the white envelope for Outlook. It's probably going to automatically log me in because I use my email a lot. But you would use uh, type in your student email address and the password that you use for everything to um, log into your Outlook. So then you would click on new message and on the right side of the screen, you can see that a new email opens. I'm going to click on the pop out to pop my email out. Now, depending on um, whichever teacher you are interviewing, again, all the email addresses are listed below. I'm going to pretend that I'm emailing Mrs. Pyle. Me. So you could start typing in their email and their email should pop up. Now this is the really important thing. You also need to copy me on the email where it says CC, you need to send me a copy of the email. As far as subject goes, you can call it teacher interview, teacher biography, but you should include a subject on your email. Now, if we come back to the assignment, we can see over here, it says greeting, introduce yourself and the assignment, copy and paste the questions above and closing. So on my email to my teacher, I need to start with a greeting. If you're sending it in the morning, you could say good morning. If you're sending it in the afternoon, you could say good afternoon, or you could just say hello. Then it says, introduce yourself and the assignment. My name is Andrea Pyle, and I'm a student in video production. So I have introduced myself. Now I'm going to introduce the assignment. We are working on a teacher biography. I would like to interview you. Then you want to ask them to interview them. <coughs> Excuse me. At your convenience, can you please answer the following questions? <coughs> Excuse me. Then what you need to do is copy and paste the questions from that Google Doc. Here's the Google Doc. I'm gonna drop my finger down and I'm gonna drag these two blue dots so that it highlights just the questions section. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. There we go. Then I'm gonna come up to edit and I'm gonna copy I'm gonna go back to my email. I'm gonna drop my finger down, just kind of tap. Takes a couple tries. There we go. Oh. 
There we go, I'm gonna paste. And now my questions are pasted into the email. It also mentioned on the description of the assignment that we need a closing. So I'm gonna come back to my email and I'm going to say, <clears throat> thank you for your time. And then I would sign my name, okay? Trying to get that to go over, but it doesn't want to, so I'm gonna let it be. So now my email reads, hello, my name is Andrea Pyle and I'm a student in video production. We are working on a teacher biography. I would like to interview you. At your convenience, can you please answer the following questions? Copy and paste. Thank you for your time, Andrea Pyle. Then at the bottom, and again, make sure you have me under the CC, you would hit send. And that's how you're gonna get your points for this week's assignment. You are actually not going to upload anything on Canvas. You will just send the email, and as you can see here, I will get a copy on, of it 